while I'm back here, I got to thinking about this, and this is kind of a lesson learned. Um, on my hose rack, and, uh, you can see it, but I'm actually running a one inch airline, um, and it's 50 feet. It's about 90 bucks. Uh, I'm here in Chicago or outside Chicago, so it was about 90 bucks to have it all installed with the hose and the Chicago fittings. The reason why I wanted to point out the one inch is I was running three eighths, I think it was, it might have even been a half. But it was it was too small and what was happening was it was back pressuring back into the compressor and I was getting a lot of smoke and it just wasn't real efficient now that I've gone to the one inch airline um, it's made a huge difference uh, my uh, compressor doesn't have to work nearly as hard it's actually pushing more air out and it'll air up faster and um, it's less wear and tear on the uh, on the compressor uh, the one thing I do keep, um, there's two air filters. There's one here, there's one there. I check those air filters uh, about once a month. Um, I go to a lot of dusty, uh, like farm operations and stuff, so those tend to tend to get dirty fairly quickly. Uh, this compressor is a year old. I've only had to change the uh, air filters once, um, and they're still pretty clean because I haven't done many farm deliveries lately. So I've been I've been doing pretty good. Um, there's one thing, a little little trick I wanted to show you, and I had to, this cost me lesson learned. Um, inside these inlets, if I can get it open, inside these inlets is an O-ring. Um, what had happened was is I had my uh, my pump washed out after unloading, and you can see now I actually have a filter. Um, it's a 60 micron filter and the gasket, the O-ring, is actually connected to it. But before I went to the filter, and I'll explain why I did the filter, but I had the O-ring, well I had the pump washed out and they used a high pressure washer and what it did was it blew that O-ring into the pipe. I didn't know that at the time, so I got it to a customer you know, up in Minnesota and uh, went to turn the pump on and that O-ring got sucked in there. And I know it's rubber and that pump's steel, but it jammed up that pump and actually broke my PTO shaft. So a uh, little lesson I've always learned is I make sure that I inspect the inlet before I do anything else. The other thing I do is I also make sure that I reach over here and grab the shaft and give it a twist to make sure that the pump is turning freely. Um, because the last thing you want to do is have that thing binding, turn your PTO on, and next thing you know you break your shaft off. Now, it may be a different setup if you're running a hydro pack. I know the hydraulics run differently. I don't actually have a hydro pack, but I'm actually going to a hydro pack next week. So, or in two weeks. So uh, maybe it'll be different, I'm not quite sure. Um, going back to the filter, the reason why I now run with a, with a filter inside is uh, the company I work for does a lot of ISO tanks. Those are the international uh, container tanks. And a lot of them are coming out of China. And I don't necessarily know what's being dropped in those tanks. There could be nuts, bolts, washers. So I'd rather be a little proactive and have a filter. This way if there's a washer or a nut or something inside that tank and it gets sucked out, it's gonna get sucked into that filter and not into my pump. So, a little word of advice.